All right, y'all listen. I don't know where my mallet is. I know this is a running theme for me, but I really don't know where it is. And I sat down, I'm ready to record, so. Hey girl. Hello Sagittarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and I'm going to be doing your general reading for this week. Like with any general reading though, not everything may resonate with you and I always ask for my type of reading at least to rely on your intuition. You know, I could be talking about a work situation as the example, but for you and how the cards are pertaining to you, it could be talking about a relationship. So I want you to keep that in mind always and just use your intuition to figure out how the cards are trying to speak to you. If the cards do not resonate at all, then that's perfectly fine. That's completely normal, right? Um, that's just inevitable for uh, some cards not to be of resonance to you. Uh, I asked you to take what resonates and leave what doesn't because, you know, like you don't have to take it if you don't like it, right? Uh, so I'm going to be doing three rows for you. Two, The first two rows, they're going to just be general messages um, for the coming week. And then for your last row, that's where we're going to get into the uh, nitty gritty, right? That's where we're going to get advice from Spirit on what they would like you to work on for this week because i can tell you the energies of what's going to be coming what the energies look like but before like this doesn't matter unless you are actively still going on uh, down that path so you know so in order to get to this greatness or whatever is coming into your reading right this is the advice that spirit has for you and so well, half of you of what you should work on, if that makes sense, right? So let's get into your reading now. And also, don't mind my crooked glasses. I'm tired of not being able to see these cards. So let's just jump into your reading now. We have the Eight of Air for your first row, and the Nine of Air, and then the Two of Fire. Oh, Sagittarius, y'all are going through something. I don't know what it, what it is you're going through, but it's like a mental journey. I feel like you are going through your awakening process, which it makes sense because you have the awakening card in your second row, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's pull some clarifiers first. I'm going to show the cards as I break them down. So let's talk about the Eight of Air first. The Eight of Air is just, I love this card personally, even though it's such an aggressive card, but it's such a, it's a card that helps put people this card puts things in perspective for people that really is like the uh key that unlocks everything so what the eight of air talks about sagittarius is it's talking about the uh your own mental uh trappings it's like uh this is the card that will come up when uh self-esteem is an issue this card will come up when people start telling themselves excuses when they have like some insecurities going on yeah you guys your eight of air comes in because I pulled some clarifiers for you guys, right? Your eight of air comes in where it's like, you're you're insecure and like, I don't know if it's like a, in yourself or maybe you're just trying to figure out who, who you are. That's what actually, yeah, I feel like you're trying to figure out who it is that you exactly are. Maybe like your identity has always been attached to somebody or maybe um, you've been just having, repressing your thoughts a lot or repressing certain feelings, right? We'll get into this more, but I feel like it's some type of, uh, repressing or suppressing and some type of like your true power of whatever it is this could be like an insecurity or whatever the clarifier i say this because of your clarifiers we have the emperor along with the devil and then the two of wands now to me this is like you are this emperor right this is who you truly are so it's like if you are suppressing feelings, um, this is like your the emperor comes in as a representation as your most authentic self. If this is like, a, no, that's just who you are. The devil card and the two of wands comes in in a sense of like, what's stopping you from claiming that emperor energy? The, what's stopping you is like this emperor, I'm, <laughs> this emperor, this devil comes in as like that the embodiment of that insecurity so if it's like if you just been like the representation whatever it is you're suppressing or that insecurity so you could be insecure in your talents and that's why you don't push yourself that's why you don't shoot your shot for that career that's why like whatever it is or uh, engaging that person because you're suppressing your feelings um whatever your story is that's what the devil is the representation of and the two of wands card comes in of where it's like self-fulfilling purpose where you are trying to figure out like you know it's like yeah you're kind of this is the what you're suppressing is like something that's kind of like been in your core and when you're suppressing something that's like heavily in your core that speaks to you 
like not only are you not claiming this emperor energy but it can also feel like you're kind of dying in a sense um because the eight of air talks about being afraid to take action in some type of way and then we transition into the nine of air which is talking about expecting the worst so yeah this is just talking about um focusing in on negative energies you're only paying attention to the negative energies and that's like what these excuses are right or not excuses but just the illusion of being when it says the illusion of being trapped it's like you feel like there's nothing you can do in this situation and actually there's plenty that you can do you just don't want to admit it to yourself um that's and because there's some type of suppression going on that's why you're like wondering it's just like who am i that's why i feel like who you what you're questioning sagittarius that this week is like you're questioning is like who really am i what am i like about something i feel like something happened where it's triggering you to really start self-reflecting something happened or someone happened that's causing you to self-reflect and really start challenging your own perspective and really helping you come into your own because we have the two of fire which says you've come into your own new business contract so maybe for some of you sagittarius people when it talks about uh new partnerships or contracts this is definitely like the energy of like sagittarius people going back to this of where it's like those who don't want to like submit their resume to this workplace because they don't feel like they're good enough right um those who don't want to um engage with someone or connect with someone because of their own insecurities because they feel like they would not be um like they're out of their league or whatever you know whatever your story is like this two of fire come card comes in as like the affirmation of like no like really go forward with these energies there's no reason to be trapped right the thing about it is like it's the illusion of being trapped so really read them between the lines you're not actually trapped at all um if you actually go forward with this and once you stop suppressing whatever it is that you're suppressing or whatever your story is sagittarius i feel like once you start honoring yourself and really um yeah once you start honoring yourself and start living in your most authentic self and honoring your feelings honoring like valuing yourself as well right things are going to start flowing beautifully for you and this is where we get into your second room you have the page of air the awakening card and the four of air so the page of air talks about um again talking about chal uh, challenging information um i feel as if for you sagittarius it's almost as like you have a breakthrough which is why we have that awakening card coming in right it's almost like you're going through this self-awakening process it's through this awakening process of like maybe just acknowledging the feelings that you have or the thoughts that you have or acknowledging um the potential that you have in terms of like a business or like the, seeing the value in yourself and what you would be able to provide to somebody or a business um something i feel like there's like something uh, yeah i keep saying it's like something was attached that really triggered this awakening process somebody caused this that ha caused this or something happened some type of environment um thing happened for you where it really like triggered everything where it's really started making you just question yeah just like questioning everything and really holding yourself accountable for like it's almost as if like you're looking in the mirror Sagittarius and having like a quarter life crisis or a midlife crisis and you're just like what have I been doing all my life am I really living in my most authentic self am I really fulfilled how do I get fulfilled I feel like that's going to be the question for you Sagittarius this week is figuring out how you fulfill yourself um we have the awakening card which is really looking forward into um number 12 equaling equaling to three into numerology so write that down Sagittarius and look it up for later after this reading of course um this is talking about looking at things from a different perspective um it's important to be yourself like I'm just going to read off the card because I feel like it's just there's that's the theme for you Sagittarius it's really important for you to just be yourself like honoring your thoughts honoring your feelings no longer suppressing yourself from being this emperor like that's really what i think the theme is for you this week sagittarius is realizing nothing bad is going to happen in fact once you awaken these um repressed thoughts or awaken like your true potential things really start looking up for you and i know it can sound cheesy and just like like me just blowing a bunch of smoke <laughs> up your rum but it's like rump why am I trying? Um, this is what happens when I'm trying not to cuss, y'all. I have a mouth of a sailor outside of YouTube. So, but um, yeah, like the Hierophant, the Ace of Swords, and the Page of Wands as clarifiers. Yeah, the Hierophant comes in as like higher knowledge. 
But in this process connected to the awakening card, it's like you're just learning more about yourself. Or yeah, it's almost as if like this, there's a part of you that you've always suppressed due to some type of insecurity. And now you're going through this process. You may be going through this now. Um, and if it hasn't happened now, I feel like something ha will happen. Something or someone will happen in your life that triggers this reflection process for you, Sagittarius. So be aware of that this week. Um, that happens, that allows you to come into your own power, Ace of Swords and Page of Wands. It's, yeah, it's like some type of something happens. Something sh really shakes your perspective that really changes the trajectory of like where your life was going personally. It may not even have to do anything with Korea, but it absolutely could be, right? To a fire reminding you of those contracts. Um, the Four of Air comes in where it's like, yeah, I feel like it's just like such a self-reflecting time for you where it's like you're going to be in, you're going to have a lot of deep thoughts this week, Sagittarius, I feel. Um, so let's get into your last row now. Um, this is what you need to be working on this week, Sagittarius. We have the Hermit card, the Five of Discs, and the Four of Cups. So yeah, Hermit card matching that energy of the Four of Air in a sense of like, this is the time for you to really hardcore self-reflect, to disconnect from people. I feel like if something, like something's going to happen that really, it's going to shake your foundation, but it's going to be a, it's not like, it could be seen as like a really bad thing, but it's almost as if you kind of saw it coming already, Sagittarius. So once that happens, this is where you kind of just go into hermit mode. You're not hurt. Well, you are hurt. You're going through your pain or whatever it is that you're going through, but you kind of saw it coming and you're so busy with your awakening process and just like figuring yourself out. Like <laughs> you don't even care almost, right? You deal with these five of disc and it's like, I feel like you see the still, I love the Necronomicon. Um, the imagery in this, I'm gonna keep holding it up, is, is really hardcore speaking in that like you're hermiting away because it's like you figuring out yourself, you going through this uh, awakening process, Sagittarius, it's people are going to like, especially when you start acting differently. That's the thing. No, um, people, when they don't understand what's going on or it's something new, you're portraying something new, a new personality trait that your friends weren't aware of that were that was a thing for you or whatever your story is. Like they're not going, like they're not gonna receive it as well. They're not, they're gonna think there's something wrong with you when you're just actually just going through an awakening process. So Spirit's really giving this um, push for you Sagittarius this week to separate yourself from people, separate yourself from in, uh, environments that would influence you because this is really like during this awakening process, this is such a fragile time for you to really give this the most time and energy that you can because that's where the growth is going to happen for you. Four of Cups comes in as well. It's, yeah, just another push of just separating yourself from your current environment and like current scope of people to find yourself. This is really a hermiting week for you, but you're just definitely going through such a beautiful awakening process, Sagittarius. I'm going to wrap this up for you, Sagittarius. Um, with an oracle card uh we have boundaries yeah you're setting boundaries <laughs> this card keeps coming up so often um for zodiac signs now but for yeah this is just like the theme of what we were just talking about sagittarius you're setting up boundaries i feel like it's important for you to set up boundaries this week so that way you can truly um figure out who you are and have the time for yourself um confidence is key to your success and you are good enough full moon in virgo and new moon in leo <sighs> Saji, I'm just gonna leave it there. I feel like those two cards are just gonna hit deeply. I don't feel like I need to explain it any further, but uh, I hope this reading was helpful to you, Sagittarius. I love you so much. If this reading was helpful to you, let me know which cards resonated with you, how it called out to you, and how it pertains in your life, if you feel like sharing. If it is helpful, to, if this reading was helpful to you and gives you a sense of direction, I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel. But uh, yeah, I love you so much, Sagittarius, and I can't wait to hopefully connect to you soon again. Bye.